Trying to go back-to-back -back sweeps. Revolution, though, definitely uh, was a contender in the first game, at least earlier on, until it just, well, got out of control there. So we'll see if Clanks will do better for them this time around with the behemoth Moira on top of that. So far going up against an Andro Fade. Snowy joining me once again here. This is uh, already shaping up to be another interesting draft. Yeah, very active one on top of it. Fade and Andromeda, that could be an offensive try lane. Legion team needs to be careful now not to make the same mistake as we saw Shopstick mm -hmm. Gaming do in um, the first series of the day where they dr drafted a little bit too greedy almost. There's the Revenant as well. Tank of has been known for playing that in the mid roll. I would assume that it's going to be the same this time. Yeah, that's right. He has done They do have a different well. roster this time though, so Masira would have to play the fade secondary support, but I guess that shouldn't be a problem for him seeing as that was his old role. <laughs> Yeah, I got to say, again, it's not to discredit their competition. It's a diamond division after all. Everyone should be able to be credited as a worthwhile team, of course, as they are. But uh, Masira has been doing very well today so far. I, I feel like it's kind of, again, stepping in as that new fifth man and the new permanent fifth now for this uh, team in place of Own Me here. So looking to keep the momentum, as you said, and uh, see if, how he kind of diversifies here now with perhaps that fade. Secondary support play, as you may be expecting. But, yeah, take a fit on that Revenant. We have seen some very dominating performances from him on that in the past. So definitely something that Revolution is going to have to address here. And how will they match up against it now is the question. Mm. The Revenant mid, if they expect that. Yeah, you would prefer something ranged, if possible. Uh, obviously, he's very dangerous. Or obviously, he does very well versus the melee heroes with that slow and modification, of course. Um, so there are a few options, like I could see a shipper, for example, in this game. It doesn't have to escape, though, so he needs to be careful for the Andromeda and the Fade Gangs, but it should be fine as long as he scouts with the rockets and got the ward to help him out. I could definitely see shipper as an option here, but seeing as it's revolution, it's probably going to be something a little bit more, well, odd. Yeah. Next uh, pick to come here, Swift Blade, Ophelia, Drunken, Parasite, Doctor, and Moraxis, the bands. Uh, I do have a quick update on the other series, and it's an unfortunate one. Uh, it sounds like it was a forfeit victory uh, in favor of what would be Chopstick. Chopstick over Sana Esports. So I guess, yeah, the issues were continuing there and got to point, not able to find a ring or whatever and uh, had to unfortunately forfeit it. So we'll uh, keep further updates as far as moving forward, too, with that. But uh, Bramble coming out with that fourth pick. And again, Revolution, just one of these other quirky heroes that they have ran. Fairly recently here. Those are some interesting stats. 0 0.5 <laughs> kills. <laughs> like, I guess uh, it's Damn. only two games, but still, it's kind of funny. Wow. Electrician counter. Interesting response there. It's, huh. I wonder hmm. why. Because I wonder if that's actually to remove the, uh, the ensnaring shrubbery. If they figure that's I so much. So. Yeah, if that's, like, if that's enough of a reason to get an electrician. Wow. I mean, I guess it also purchases off the flight from Clanks. Uh, does it? I would assume so. I it's feel a like buff. If, I feel like if that's the case, we would see a lot more no fire blades against Clanks. Like, oh, but he gets a shrunken head later on, and then true. you definitely can't purge it. So, I think it applies. I don't see why it shouldn't. Huh? Yeah. I, I mean, if you're right, I'm. I'm honestly not sure because. It, it, it is a buff, though, and you figure that it obviously yeah, dispels buff, so <laughs> I guess that does logically make sense there. It's, it's, but let's just say we've thought that before, and <laughs> it doesn't work. So, um, But, yeah, perhaps that is another reason you see from the shards of Harkon dust. Or some other, yeah, I mean, there are some other things, too, obviously. See, those are more like things that we see a lot more, though, and I don't know. Man, well, we'll see. <laughs> It's just the way they picked it up in response to the Bramble just makes me wonder if it has something to do with Bramble specifically. So, Well, it probably just gets rid of the ensnaring Sharpery as well. Yeah. So. And Clanks is just a bonus. Yeah, exactly. I would have loved to see the Flux from the Legion team. I might not sure if it fits their lineup now. Then I would have to run the Bramble in the suicide lane. But Flux would be such a great pickup. Tanky, hard to gank in the mid. And of course, revealing both the Fade and the Revenant Invis. Yeah. Well... They had a game plan. I mean, those <laughs> are some pretty quick picks right there, fourth and fifth. Electrician into a quick Sandwraith pick. 
coming out. So there you go. They go with the uh, the Sand Wraith to assist. Uh, and Sand Wraith, it, honestly, it does make a lot of sense with the Fade and the Revenant. You know, the two heroes <laughs> that are going to be wanting to go around stealth lag and set up kills and Obviously, Sam Electrician as well, in a certain sense, be with that elec or with that grip of his. I mean, 4.75 seconds, Let's almost a five-second lockdown. Uh, Mirage on top of that, and some brutalized prox, and you got yourself a dead clanks, no doubt. Mm -hmm. The revolution, though. I mean, they continue their trend with those melee suicides, and I'm not sure. I mean, I, I understand. Like, they're working in some cases, but. I'm not necessarily sure if, like, usually they tend to do rather poorly in the suicide lane uh, if they don't have that pull ability, like a war beast, as we saw in the previous games. It's just, it's so just troublesome to actually get experience as a melee hero nowadays, especially as a Magmus. He suffers as Andro an Andromeda, though, so I guess it should be fine. I mean, you can disjoint the comet down with your Steam buff as well, if you manage to get level 2, that is. I want to say the last time I did see them run Bramble, it, they ran it in that roaming sense. But yeah, no, they're going to be going more of a suicide Bramble here, apparently. Hey, as... breaking. What's that? Last time they ran it, wasn't that defensive tri lane? That's right. With, uh, yeah. Pearl, and oh, I don't know what that right. rate Pearl. was, but it, it was a disaster, at least, during the laning phase. That was so weird. Yeah. I do remember that, though. But they won that game, right? Yeah. Yeah, they did. That's they what made win, them yeah. uh, qualify the Diamond. That's true, you know, that was against Ringers. That's right. So clearly it has had some success for them coming out I of here. I can't recall so. what carry hero they, was. they played in that game, though. Uh, man, they yeah, were offers right a puppet monster, at, at, at least, I because we were talking that, so yeah. much about the Voodoo Puppet and Pearl Ultimate and all, but can't recall. Yeah, I honestly do not recall either, so. I want to say Ravener for some reason comes to mind, but maybe not. Um, anywho. We are going to yeah. see the defensive trial lane, but guess what? It's not going to be with Bramble. It's going to be with Behemoth instead. They're going to they, they choose to send the Behemoth with the Mora down here, and they're going to have Bramble suicide. Hmm. I wonder how well Bramble does versus uh, the Sandriff up here at the top lane. Probably not too well, seeing as he only got an Iron Buckler and a lot of Blights. No longer hatchet, so definitely expecting a defensive trial lane and Mora. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I really don't think Revolution was expecting the aggressive trial in here. I think that that, that's, did not. Yeah, that's why they set it up as they did. And they were maybe setting the Mora beam down here to maybe get an early kill, but this is turning out to be a Tri versus Trot. So that's not gonna be as easy as maybe they were hoping for. And you see a good counter ward off the bat by uh, Reason by the way, which actually took out the ward of sight from Revolution, so now they yeah. have no vision. Moira got another one and a counter ward as well, so yeah, they have to be fast with this one though. Come on, Behemoth, hit the... Okay, they're gonna get it. So <laughs> They just block him or off. Are they? are they even gonna get it? In fact, Moira's in trouble. Sharon the Harkon coming out. We'll stun. We'll keep him alive for the time being. Go over the circle. Yeah, the bang to finish off Andromeda right there. That ended up working out beautifully for Revolution. When it's all said and done, and now Revenant in trouble. Behemoth has another Fissure stun, but no, he takes a stun first, but he got it off. The Bang coming out. It will slow Tank of Fed. He's in panic mode right here. The Bang in front forces him to go to the right. Mora does have Shards of Harkon, but not close enough. The Invis from Revenant will be fine, so at least he gets away. But Bloodlust kill for uh, Revolution here. And for Clanks on top of things. That's a nice little boost to his couple of minutes early on. They didn't get the word though. <laughs> Recent gaming defended the word of revelation successfully. Yeah. Had to pay with the first blood though, so probably not the worth trade, but You see uh now again exactly the, the first game the they got it as well, the bloodless kill, and again the start was actually looking solid for revolution, but then it just kind of snowball out of control big time in favor of reason, so I guess what you learn from there is that mindset of don't don't get uh, too uh, anxious here if you're Revolution. Definitely know that it's just one of many kills to come, and he's still got a lot of game left to play here, although it is a good feeling nonetheless. Middle lane's been an interesting one to kind of go to every now and then. Magnus versus Electrician. You know, both of you are kind of these melee matchup heroes that, you know, they, they, they are pretty powerful with the Volcanic Touch compared to the Energy Absorption and then Electric Shield of Electrician. Um, and it seems like Magnus is having the better so far, though. 
Yeah, action. definitely got the upper edge in the start with the volcanic touch, I feel. But uh, as the level progresses, I feel like Electrician is going to be more and more dominant. Actually, doing a really nice sneaky little pull here um, down at the bot lane as well, getting the soldiers down to the hard camp here in the forest. And now Andromeda might be in trouble. Yeah, he's trying to run away, but the finish line cuts him off. The Bane coming out once again. Andromeda's going to fall, pretty much accepting death at that point as Moira gets credit for the kill. Yeah, that was simply... You know, for having the vision, uh, they kind of ran into that almost blindly, it felt like. And Andromeda just simply got cut off from the team. As that's what the Fissure Stone accomplishes, obviously. So, Yeah, that was a very well-placed Fissure as well, because that actually prevented Revenant from reaching Andromeda and invisible, or using invisibility. Otherwise, he would have lived, because Legion Team does not have any dust or rev wards at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, Fisher, of course, preventing that. And now we see in the mid lane, though, they are going to collapse onto this Magmus. They have to hit the static grip. Yeah. Uh, does he have it? He did. Okay. He got a level 5. That would have been awkward otherwise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can tell he almost wants to. The range in it's pretty good. It's a 500 range. But, oh, Mortification bottom lane on Moira. But now Revan is in trouble. He doesn't have an invis. It's on cooldown from earlier. And no, the mana battery catches them off guard. You can tell. Uh, uh, Clank's right there. He started moving backwards at the last second. Now, I don't know if he would have gotten if he continued to commit, but a good job of the mana battery patience from Tankafet there. Ends up staying yeah, alive. Yeah, Magnus just surviving the gank attempt in the mid as well. Still doesn't have that steam buff, so he wasn't able to disjoint any spells or the comet, but he was able to use the lava search on a wow, okay. <laughs> Tanka got a little too comfortable <laughs> thinking they can kind of poke back in. And that's a one level one fisher as well, so Tangafan must have been really low. He was, yeah. No, he was just regening with the tree eating right there, so definitely really inexcusable, honestly, in that sense, and kind of just feeding a kill. Unfortunate for them. Three nothing start. So but despite this three nothing start, Clanks is not, you know, going too crazy. I mean he's only two hundred and eighty gold per minute. Uh, he compared to a sand rate, three hundred and sixty GPM here. In a one versus one situation on top of things. Damn, that's uh, that's bad news for this Legion team. Yeah. Because if he's level 6 now, yeah, actually just hit it. Now it's going to be so troublesome for the Clanks to survive down here at the bot lane. Like one stun, and you follow it up in a marriage, and yeah, Clanks is pretty much dead. So I am getting some uh, some uh, Twitch chat confirmation that we were we were correct in the end, that uh, more so you were confident with it, that the purge does purge off Hawk from... Uh, from Clank, so but also another good point being brought up is the Sand Rates Desert's Curse, and uh, why he's probably another reason why they may have picked it up is it's good for chasing down a Clanks. Uh, how you Desert's Curse, and you can actually go over cliffs like he could to help pursue him. So another nice nifty tool there that they have. So definitely the anti Clanks uh, lineup here to an extent. Yeah. I guess out. you can go through the Bramble Wall then as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't see why not. That's actually, that's a really interesting. Uh, top lane, Magnus coming in. Not going to get close enough, though, I don't think. Well, maybe. Oh, he could go with your option wall, here. Wall, wall, wall. Oh, the wrong side. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She has, he has the distant curse. He can go over it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that's, uh, we were just talking about that, too. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Anyways, bottom lane, Samwraith. He's looking to come in, actually, with the ultimate. He ports in because his team's doing a work. They get the one on the Moira. He wants the second one on the Behemoth. He'll get it, damn it. And a recent game and a two for nothing exchange down here. Magnus, he has another Lava Surge? No, not enough mana oh. for it. He poured it in, but he has used Eruption and Lava Surge to the top. So, wasn't able to follow anything up. Happen. That was so well played by Imba Boy at the same time. Like, just as he was about to get the gank, using the marriage to getting a gank kill happening instead. Nice Fisher once again, but it's not going to be enough to survive. Oh god, that's a brutal death animation. <laughs> the surfboard, like, falls on him and, like, pierces him. Jesus. Oh, really? Yeah, I just, like, I, having I missed, to catch that. that. That's kind of brutal. But anyways, uh, fade middle lane, going to be fine there walking back. So, but yeah, catching Behemoth again in what was a 3 nothing start for Revolution. Now, all of a sudden, it's a 3-3 three three game as recent gaming ties it back up. So, not, not exactly the same as, honestly, game one, but it's honestly got a lot of similarities so far. Kind of feeling that way a little bit, how the start was looking good for Evolution, but then recent gaming started to kind of get some things working for them. And you do see some farm again starting to explode to an extent. Sand Wraith is now 360 GPM. Electrician also above that 300 GPM mark uh, himself so far. So the, the brothers of Zane and Imba Boy doing pretty damn well here for reason. Tankafit, not so well. His starts have been a little slower. 
but he's recovering. Middle lane, no, gonna be stopped by the Fissure Stun. Trying to static grip in right there, but does not work. As the eight minute rune is gonna be coming up here as well. And Fade's going for it. It's a haste rune. Good job by Mora protecting it. Steal it from her. So, is Fade level six yet? No, she's still level five. Now Sarah trying to get those levels now. Uh, Clanks uh, rotated it into the forest rather than staying down in the bot lane. It felt like it was too risky at this point, and that's that's not good news. And actually, he's going to go for Energizer as well. I maybe he just builds it into the major totem to get a little bit extra survivability, but yeah, I'm not sure. I almost feel like they have to go greedy with the Clanks. It it is a tough game for that because the Revenant, the Fae, the Sand, like there's a lot of things that again they, they almost built like kind of the anti Clinks lineup as we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do I do agree with you. It, it, they I feel like that they kind of had to take that risk. Now bottom lane and drama is going to be picked off. Mora though getting turned off. Fate coming in and the double kill for the team as the Bramble Wall appears though and Fate is going to be picked off as well. Sam Wraith easy able to get on out of there. Revenant trying to run away. Bing not going to slow him. He is dusted. It's not going to matter, though. He'll keep running and eventually escape right there. So nice get away. And mid lane, him. Magnus still doesn't have that steam buff, so he's not going to be able to disjoint. Oh, the bottom lane is some more action continuing. And actually, Clanks will be picked up for the first time. Not good news as the middle lane, the eruption going off. Not going to kill anyone, though, as Samrath easily got away there. I was watching the bottom lane action, so I'm not even sure how we really managed to get away as he did. It's back to the middle lane. It's not over just yet. Spore Breath. Stun will hit Fade as the dust comes out just in case. And now Fade's in trouble. Nope. Uh, never mind. It? Turning it on Behemoth. as a TP coming in. It's all of a sudden he's the one looking to turn. Revenant important with not much mana, though, so. Guess not too worried there. And good to be fine. Oh, they did get Electrician. Okay, that's what you meant by that. I was wondering. It's like, oh, yeah, I know they have Electrician. <laughs> But they killed him. Okay. So they got some Comet stun. <laughs> yeah, well, he knew he was dead right there. Tried to get the turn, but gets picked off. So definitely something this series is bringing us is pure entertainment as far as kills go. A lot of action. Yeah, I do feel like Magnus here being played by Pexu has been playing really well. Uh, he's still so far away from that uh, Paul Kido, it's not going to happen in the near future, but uh, he's been doing some really impressive plays at least, keeping the Legion team in it for now. Bramble, of course, that that pick just proven to be, well, up until this point at least, a non-factor, simply because of the Desert Curse from San Rafa. I'm not sure if that was the intention from Reason as well, because they last picked this hero. And they were like, hmm, this is really good versus Bramble. Similar to the clan, well, just fly over the wall. And, and Behemoth. So, yeah, there's a couple of walls here. The more I'm thinking about it, that's like, Desert's Curse is pretty damn good. Uh, and, yeah, for chasing on Clanks, as we pointed out. So, really, it's the reaction picks here from the Hellborn side. The fourth and fifth ones were proving, are proving to be a very, very effective choices here, no doubt. And that's definitely credit to Imbo Boy and the draft. I'm sure, you know, taking it, really the whole team, they kind of just like, they draft out the field as, as a team. But... And my boy in that captain's role, so deserving of the credit there um, so far. But still plenty of game left, only just over 11 minutes. Uh, Clank started to take off a little bit, but then the death slowed down. Whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> Magnus stunned in to farm as Fade was walking into the yellow camp, hit him, and but they had no clue. I mean, Fade was invis, <laughs> so he just simply runs away. If only they knew. If only they knew. So wonder if Massera got a little scared there for a second or not. But. Dude. Hellborn Bottom tower, wow. probably. <laughs> no I would have been scared. Defending. Yeah, right. As, oh, they find Magnus, who is running over, trying to maybe set something up, and he ends up dying. So, yeah, that was very late, too. I mean, that was after the tower was dead, roaming down there. Gets caught. There's yeah, got to be impact. careful with all that invis. I mean, Fate didn't even have to be using Reflection. I mean, that could have just been any hero with uh, the Essence Shroud from Revenant applied. Top lane, Electrician actually playing really bold. See, the mirror is not up, so I'm not entirely sure why he's diving this far. <laughs> Zane, you, you crazy fool, you. <laughs> I love Zane as a player. Uh, and honestly, he's usually a very safe player, so that was a very unlike Zane right there. But, yeah, he kind of kind of didn't expect uh, support to come in as quickly as they did at least, so. Ends up dying pretty easily there. Uh oh bottom lane, Revenant Invis. 
Behemoth, he thinks he's fine. No, you are not, good sir. Mortification, so much enhanced damage. Easy kill as a result. Magnus now in the meantime. Steam Bath kind of destroying. Bramble Wall coming out. And drop is not Sandwraith. He's going to die right there. Fade. Is he dust? That was searching two seconds. Oh, he missed. Oh, yeah. He's Doesn't guessing. See. Yeah, the dust was on cooldown as well. So, unable to hit. Good jukes from Acera right there. Yeah, nah, Magnus needs to be away. careful, though. Actually, Reflection is going to run out, so no worries there. But Clank's almost overtaking Zenrath in gold per minute now. Of course, Tankafat is still the leading wow. uh, hero. How did he get up there? <laughs> he was struggling. <sighs> Well, he got a free tower here down at the tier one, and he's been sitting here safely farming while the Legion team has more or less in, just been busy on shutting down other heroes. Um, and he's gotten a couple of kills as well. Like he's four, one, and three now, so yeah. he's definitely recovering. Jeez, yeah, this it's like wow, he's on top and doing very well, in fact. So all of a sudden, it feels like out of nowhere, but yeah, I guess it makes sense when you add it all up and. That's definitely the revolution of, well, maybe they should have really kind of kept on that as far as addressing him especially, but he's got a good start now, or has really snowballed with a good start here. You got Sam with 101.5, 275 gold per minute, but as you're mentioning, Clanks, at least has kind of found his uh, right. But again, this kind of goes back to that Energizer, and I, I really don't think the Energizer's done a whole lot for him since he's picked it up, and and if, imagine if he just went straight into a Thunderclaw, how much more farm he would even have right now if he went that greedy choice, so. Goes back to what Dude, we mentioned earlier, but Hellborn Freddy's destroyed Legion Tower. <laughs> that new announcer back, man. Um, Sand Wraith though pushes in the top lane, and a free tower kill for him. That's now two free tower kills, bottom and top. They were not defended at all. Behemoth right. down to the bot lane as well, in trouble. He's gonna get Fisher off, but I don't think that's going to matter. That burst, man. Like, the Mortification is what, minus four? Yeah, minus four magic armor. And then the Comet's done 325 magic damage. But you look at Behemoth, you have 5.5. So basically, you know, 1.5 magic armor and 325 magic damage incoming. So that's a lot. Electrician, meanwhile, runs into a couple of heroes, Bramble and Magnus. And the Bramble Wall, I want to say, almost screwed them there. They had to kind of try to run the long way. <laughs> and they end up going down. Clanks is fine, at least. Yeah, once again, Fade, uh, Fade being played by Masera, just in the right place at the right time. He's been playing very well with the rotations and just creating a lot of space for Tankafat and, of course, Imboboy as, as well. Mm -hmm. And now Andromeda is in a very offensive spot. Clanks needs to be careful not to be swapped in here. Yeah, level 1 swap, fairly shorter range. But still... I think give yeah, up another tower, safe. man. They They're gonna to try to deny this. it at least with okay. Imba Boy here. Or with the uh, Clanks here. <laughs> I, I was about to say Imba Boy because I'm so used to him <laughs> yeah. being with the one playing the Clanks. The same dream hack. He's uh, going in right here, but Revenant, oh boy. He has support coming in. They don't have a batter or anything like that. Magnus runs in first though, catches Andromeda. You see Revenant's like, okay, they got the jump. Let's just run. Nice kill there. Are they going to get a tank of it as well? Do they have any dust on Moira? No, they do not. The shards of Harkon is going to give them an idea of where he is, though. <laughs> that ability, man, I swear. <laughs> it's so... Oh, man. Anyways, we're having to get They can't see him, though. Yeah, the dust. And he's going to live. That's that's huge. I mean, that was four yeah. heroes really chasing him for a while, and he ends up getting away with the TP. Well played. Well played right there. Middle lane, Behemoth and Bramble coming in. That's a thing. Going to get caught there. Look at the double wall coming out. Not much room to go. <laughs> going to trap him in. Good coordination between the two. Uh, and to secure it. That was uh, very well played. The Bermuda Triangle is real. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's not a triangle. <laughs> uh, Santa <laughs> Rays gets the They're standing behind them. They're I, forming I the guess. back line, no? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll say it was, Nui. Sure. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Clever, clever. Electrician uh, once again doing a very offensive spot here in the mid lane. Yeah, a little too offensive perhaps. Never mind, gonna be swapped out. Clank's coming in with that Thunder Claw. Now Electrician got stunned after the swap, so that's why he wasn't moving away. And then Zane's gonna be chased down here, it looks like. Look at more blocking with the hero. That was well played. Fisher stun happens, and Zane should eventually be picked up. God, he's tanky, but not tanky enough. Hawk from Clank's. He is gonna fire the clip, but this is Sam Wraith. He goes over it with him, but needs to be careful not to go too far. Snake Shrubbery's put out. Not gonna be enough, though. Clank's will fall. And both Samwraith and Fate get away. So there we, we do see the power of Samwraith against Clanks right there. Easily chases him down. 
that they do. But still, I mean, they got two kills out of that, so yeah, you don't want to lose your clanks, but uh, I still think that was a decent trade for the leading team. Magnus still, though, struggling a lot. I expected his gold per minute to actually go up, but I guess he's been so busy just giving farm to clanks and just rotating around, trying to keep his teammates safe that he hasn't really been focusing on farming, and he's so far away from that pole key. While Macero, on the other hand, playing play, or uh, the Fate on the Hellborn team, he is really close to his. Yeah, 18 minutes in, and it uh, feels like it really has been a longer game. 14 to 12 hero kills, 26 in total. But no, only 18 minutes in right here as Magnus top lane. He is going to lava search away, so really trying to get that portal key. That's for mentioning, but uh, Pexu is still a little bit away from it. Andromeda going to roam into Bramble right here, and that's not the hero he wanted to run into, but actually, Samarith ports in, gets the one kill as Behemoth in the background gets taken out by Revenant. As Clangso joins the party, and Sanrith and Andromeda both fall. Bramble Wall doing some work there. Revenant's on the run, is gonna go the other direction. Saw Mora coming in with the illusion background. Faith, though, picks up Mora, but at what cost here? There's a Rev Ward nearby, he doesn't know that. Gonna be chased down, and very likely, yeah, will be caught in the end. Double tap for Squirry. On the clank, so this clank's now all of a sudden 400 GPM just about. Definitely never want to see that if you're the opposition. No, that was a nice hold from the Legion team. And that was without Polky on Magnus as well. Without the eruption, they're still able to hold. So actually, Samrev went for the Mock of Brilliance. I didn't pay attention to that, but that's a... Uh... Greed. Well, yeah, it's greed. I mean, you always want to get the Mock of Brilliance on Samrev, I almost feel like, especially when the Legion team has those Polky heroes, Magnus and Behemoth. So... I definitely think it's the right choice, but uh, they still need to be careful. I mean, they should probably try to. Oh wow, are they getting kills all over the place? All right, well, I was watching the bottom lane while you're dying there. It's, <laughs> it's just funny how he actually shockwave to stop the TP out chance of Revenant. It was a good shockwave. He ended up dying though, as Revenant just did so much damage, but they still killed him. But uh, it showed the lack of damage from the Legion side. They really don't have a lot with when Clinks is not there. But uh, as you're saying though, with the mock though, yeah, it's. You want to get it, but is that the best choice here? Kind of I think it is the best choice, but I just don't think that it should bring too much pressure down uh, with, um, like, he should be farming one or two more items before actually take part in those team fights. I mean, he can still go for the ganks, and that's, uh, by all means, the great choice, but just before you commit in those full team fights, as we saw there in the mid lane, then it's a little bit risky because you're still very, very squishy without your shrunken head and, for example, your brutalizer and all that. So... Uh, I like the mock, but they should be careful with it, or they should be playing a little bit passive when it comes to team fighting. How about Revenant, by the way? Has a full shrunken head now to go with that sacrificial stone and steam boots, and just a lot of build up, the power supply, Mystic Vestments. So yeah, he's just really got a heavy build up I, uh, uh, item build here. I don't know if I like the shrunken head on a hero like Revenant. I mean, Geometer's Bane or Hellflower, even. Like, Hellflower would have provided him so much and allowed him to even get those easy pickups on his own. Especially with Fade having the Polky now, I feel like Hellflower would have been a superior choice, but Shrunken Head, well, it's going to keep him alive, I assume, in the team fights. but once again, as we just talked about, they don't really want to engage into those team fights uh, for quite some time now. Yeah, they're looking for picks, so yeah, I agree with you there. I will say the Shrunken Head, though, it's, you look at the Legion lineup, it's it's very, very, very heavy magical presence, so uh, even the Clanks, of course, as we always refer to. Midas, look at that three shot, he doesn't need a Hellflower, he's just three shots anyways. Onto Moira. Sam Wraith not going to port in, just causing chaos as he does with the uh, Mock of Brilliance, especially now. Dust oh, there's comes the out. dust usage. Yeah, they want to go right here. Fine Wall comes out. Now the Shrunken Head on a Revenant, but will it be enough to keep him alive? It looks like for now, as Bramble is going to be picked off. They do get the one kill on a Faith, though. Andromeda swaps in. Behemoth Shockwave, though. Andromeda's going to fall. Revenant, no. He's not taking enough. He's going to fall. The eruption went off. It's a hat trick for Squirry right there. He wants the quad kill and he's going to get the quad kill as he does with the final auto attack. Sand Wraith was not there. And again, he just used his Mirage before that. So they knew that he couldn't join the party either. Yeah, that was uh, well played by the Legion team, though, capitalizing on the momentum and really well played by both Magnus and Behemoth getting those Shockwave and Eruption off in a very nice position. And Clanks, yeah, picking up a quad kill, that's enormous. That's like so freaking big for him right now. I mean, that's just going to boost his farm. I can't really see his gold per minute because the stats is actually providing us with the mock stats here by Quincy. But he's 500 gold per minute. He's the top farmer of the game now. 
Yeah, it's ridiculous, the recovery. And, again, he didn't necessarily go very greedy, as maybe we were hoping for. I think he should have. But it's this has worked out ultimately for him, it's safe to say. With the shrunken now, he's kind of bulked up quite a bit. And now you figure even more damage potential uh, going to be happening. But, again, that does go back to the idea that uh, there is a lot of magic damage threat. So the shrunken out of Revenant is good. Um, I wonder if Sandraith is even now going to follow up with a shrunken head himself, kind of continuing that defensive mindset here. Uh, for what they want. It's Moira top lane. Nope, she's going to be fine. And she falls back a little too much here. But, uh, yeah, that's got to be definitely a good feeling here for Revolution. Having now a portal key on Samarith as well. Behemoth that's coming close. Has 1,500 gold saved up. That'll be a big pickup for them. I was wondering how Electrician, we really haven't talked a lot about Zane here. But Electrician is definitely one of these, you know, he can go a lot of different style of builds here. Um, so far, the plate agrees. The Ring of Sorcery is really bulking up as they catch Andromeda, by the way, off to the side. And, yep, eventually going to kill her off, so good find. But where does he go from here now, you think, on Electrician? Hmm. Oh, that, is that, that That's a real Revenant. Oh, the Vine Wall on the wrong side. Jeez, so close. And now he's going to shrunk in Sand Wraith. Is he going to pour it in is the question. Static Crib even coming out as no Revenant. He's going to fall right in. What? That wasn't a static grip. What was I saying? Somebody looked like they were using a static grip. <laughs> and as they find him, they get the kill. So. Um, Sam Rithulti also used right there, by the way. Uh, once again, that they know that's on cooldown now for a little bit. So that's big, too, for uh, Revolution. Yep. Oh, yeah, Electrician. What? Oh, Portal Key. Oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> I felt like they needed a little bit more of a tank of presence, but hey, here we go. Here we go again. He's going to jump in on a Magmas. Poured in from Revenant, but an immediate shockwave. Revenant's going to die off the bat right there. It will be no, a one for nothing because the Bramble survived in the background. He's taking a lot of damage now, though. He will eventually fall. Clint's going to swap eruption back in. Clint's going to die. A big eruption. Not really oh. spreading it out. Not the biggest. Samwrath does get picked off, though. So that's the good news. Andromeda's going to be first fire down as now Fade. One more auto attack. They may fall right here. No, the slow from Electrician, and down goes Magmus. And Electrician will chase. He gets another kill. I think the portal key ended up working out pretty damn well there for him. A hat trick for Zane, and it's a wipeout, aka a genocide, in favor of recent gaming to finish it off. What a clash at the top. Interesting fight. I'm not entirely sure who shouted that out, but someone in recent gaming must have shouted that eruption on its way because they were splitting like gods right there. Yeah. Like as soon as the sort of eruption is split up, otherwise that would have been a quad kill for Magnus, I'm sure, because he was level 16 at the time. But uh, nice call from whoever made it and uh, recent gaming coming out uh, ahead. Yeah, it, even despite taking out Revenant as quickly as he did at the beginning, that was honestly one of the better chumps I think Revelation could have asked for. Yet, uh, it really shows you, I think, too, Samwraith, maybe that spread damage to the mock. And he didn't have his ulti. Man, there were so many things. How the hell did they win that fight, honestly? I, th I guess Zane was able to do plenty with <laughs> that portal key. And I was watching the replay right there, still leaving a little curious because Samwraith didn't have ultimate. Revenant got picked off immediately. Like, you figure with that happening, they shouldn't have been able they, to be as successful. They were successful, a little bit low on both AHP and mana, actually. And the wall from Bramble wasn't cooled down from that uh, previous Revenant True. uh gank attempt so probably has a little bit to do with that as well but yeah i mean tank of he poured it in very offensively and his shrunken head was still on cooldown from last time he got picked off so might have been a little bit questionable there but uh at least uh they used a lot to bring him down fade oh i'm gonna pop the collection right there as they find andromeda though and kind of bot lane it's found once again bottom lane right. and they're trying to this get this on Magnus, but okay they do eventually have enough they just simply uh, knew it was there, just used the abilities on top of him and get the kill. So, well played. As By the way, it looks like Electrician is going to knock kind of the goddess here. Now to follow up the portal key. Interesting choice now this later on in the game when we've already had 30 or 52 hero kills in total, 26 on your team. Um, AKA, it's like, you figure you would have gotten a lot earlier if you were going to plan to get it and try to get some charges on it, but... I guess still not uh, not a not a bad option. It does tank him up a little bit more as you're talking about earlier. And more kills are bound to happen, so that they are. Still though, I gotta say that this remnant shrunken head hasn't really paid off at all. He's been the first one to drop in every single team fight, more or less, even with it. Uh, so you definitely argue that uh, Hellflower would have been a better or superior pickoff in this case. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa! We didn't talk about this yet, but look at Santa Wraith. Staff of the freaking master to follow up the mock of brilliance. Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. The, uh, we've only seen that once before, but that was a very specific game with a Cersei in it. Um, it, yeah, I mean, well, it's just because you, you could, Cersei could ulti the illusions of Santa Wraith, essentially take it over. The idea was to prevent her from doing that, but getting it when he's the main carry here, I mean, that's as early as he did after a mock of brilliance. Yeah, I'm surprised. Why is that? I mean, if you wanted to cancel the portal keys, I mean, you already had... Oh, they're going in right here, by the way. Clanks just melts off the bat. He does have a buyback. He uses it immediately. Sam Wraith is already in, by the way. The Fear Effect going off as Beam gets swapped back in. But Clanks is back. And Trauma is going to be picked up right away. Shockwave going out. Sam Wraith in trouble. The eruption to finish him off. And Revenant now also going to fall on top of that. It's a double tap for Pexu there. And it looks like a ultimately, what, a two for three? Make it a three for three as the buyback on Clanks happened. But Clanks is back and up and... Looking for more out of this as Electrician. He's still hanging around, though. Almost as if Zane wants to make something else happen here, but I don't think anything else is. So very successful pick on a Clinks initially, but the fight, Revolution, they come out on top of it, you could argue. Yeah, holding the ground once again. Uh, they have been shown or they have been proven to be very effective when it comes to team fighting. Usually when you're a new team, you're like l more about going through that laning phase, like... Um, and just setting up kills, running around as five, getting ganks. But uh, Revolution is actually playing really well as a team, coordinating the team fights every single time. Uh, so definitely props to them. Being able to keep up with recent gaming is not bad at all. Yeah. I'm still just so caught up in the staff of the master, though. Like it, it's just so not Emma Boy either. It really is not. It's it's. I don't know. I would love to hear the conversation and mm -hmm. the logic that went into that because. They, uh, I mean, they, they must feel like they just have enough damage for some reason. I mean, burst damage they definitely have, but consistent sustained damage. I think I think I I guess it's it's a case of they feel like the late game clanks is going to be too scary, and they just want to prevent that from happening. Like I'm, I have no idea. I think the brutalizer would be a much better choice at least. Oh wow, they found fate here. No, he's able to portal key away first. Well played by Messera, and here we go again against Sam Wraith. Going to be pointing in, locking down Behemoth this time. He goes down off the bat. Vine Wall's out. The Electrician, he's feeling a lot of that. The Electric Shield keeping up a little bit. It's not going to be enough, though. He gets caught in the Arcane Vortex. Will eventually fall. Mori goes down. Revenant holding his ground with the right clicks on to Clanks. But Clanks comes back in. Another big eruption from Magmus coming out. Clanks is going to win the battle with Revenant. And now he's going for more. No, he got a little low there. Decided to back off from Sandwraith. As it's just oh. him and Magmus now. Um, I still think the Legion team is more than happy with that. Yeah. I mean, as long as Clank survives the team fights, I mean, I, he's definitely going to outcarry the Samarev. Or at least I would assume so. Especially like now. Like a team fight, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Brutalizer, I don't know. I mean, what is he going for now, by the way? Samarev, that is Imbo Boy. I mean, he got a sustainer. Stone. Is that a restoration it, stone? It, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, he, when going a staff, you figure, like, he's going all in on that idea, right? Like, so, a rest of stone makes a lot of sense here. But, but is it? Really, like, isn't it better to, like, I feel like if you got a shrunken head and with a Brutalizer and he just sits on clanks, that would be s much more beneficial for him. And huh. I don't know if he needs to be too worried about the rest of the team. Yeah, I I feel like there's something, there has to be something we're missing here. Because, again, it's the Cersei game, it made so much sense. Um, but uh, nothing's really coming to me as far as just, like, what makes so much sense to truly, like, there's nothing, like, channeling that it would interrupt or anything like that, so I don't know. Uh, you already mentioned they already have the portal key counters, obviously, with him. So Magmus, he's in trouble here. Gets found by both Sandwraith and Fade. And Sandwraith is eventually going to chase him down, so using that, well, haste of his that he happened to have to do so. And definitely a good find coming out. But Clank's uh, Geometer's Bane now finished in the meantime, and he's definitely going more of a traditional carry style of build here as there you go. Uh, the Resto Stone was just purchased on Imboboy. And coming in full now, so... Oh boy, this is going to be fun to see at least. I mean, at least they got an element of surprise, because I would assume the Legion team is not going to expect it. Yeah. The other thing that does concern me a little bit with kind of being an all-in-ish build on his ultimate is that this is a very heavy AoE damage team on the Legion side. From the Behemoth to, uh, to the Magmas to especially the Clanks. And so those illusions aren't necessarily lasting or going to be up a long time for Sanrath either. So 
definitely takes away the impact of his mirage here as well. It's just, again, another concern. But Yeah, is. I feel like this should just, as long as they commit 100% on the clanks, this should be fine. Magma's got a Storm Spirit now, but I still feel like, like everyone on Hellborn team, if they just sit on the clanks, they should be fine because there's nobody else dealing the damage. Obviously, I sit on top of him with a Brutalizer and he can't deal damage. Like, that's the way to beat the clanks, I feel. All in on him, but... In this particular game, it feels like he's just more worried about the Magmas and the Behemoth so that he gets double Restoration Stone so they're not going to be able to pull K in with their ultimates. Yeah, they got the I Now, we, we did see earlier, I mean, they, they burst down clanks. There's no doubt in that. If they're able to get the jump, which they very likely are, you know, with the Samurai, the Fade, and, uh, the Revenant and whatnot. So the chances are there. It's actually Andromeda middle lane gets picked up. But Behemoth is really far up right here. And here comes that response. Samurai ports in with the Illusion. It fears Bramble, but Arcane Vortex coming out. They're going to fight this. Clank's flight over. Magma stuns in, actually, and Sandred's going to fall. No, he will barely live in the background. The stun coming out for Faith. They're just simply trying to keep him alive. Bramble sitting on top of him, though, keeping him slowed and putting in the auto attacks and combat vigor proccing, and Clank's will chase him down. Sandred doesn't have a buyback. That is absolutely huge. He actually didn't even have the Restal Stone. He bought the recipe, but didn't have the Arcana on him, and so that's just wasted gold right there. Now he doesn't have a buyback. And now Kogor is very likely. Well, no, maybe not. I feel like they should be able to commit to the Kongor here. Hey, after taking this tier 2 tower. I mean, Bramble is back in base, but there's still a full minute before Samurai is out. At least they can force buyback, but it seems like they're not interested in taking Kongor. I mean, they're going to port up to try to defend that tier 2 tower, but that tier 2 tower means nothing for either team at this point. Like, that's just... I mean, it's like a little bit of a compliment for the Hellbrun team, but like... It's not like it's going to change the game. A token might. Well, they're, they're definitely not going to put priority into it. And you see recent gaming there in the area going to try to counter ward here as they're doing successfully. Zane takes out a ward of sight right there. And into the Congor pit is where they're very likely going to. Well, maybe not just yet, actually. I guess we'll obviously see Ray's not up just yet, so definitely would want to wait for him. But, but yeah, definitely agree that missing on opportunity for sure uh, does the Legion side, but they didn't value it enough right there. Decided to reset some things. Um, Revenant, by the way, Hellflower is in the works and ideally just about finished here, but uh, a lot later than maybe expected. But I really go back to it's. Again, this is just not Imba Boy like in terms of the items, but also that decision making. He bought the pattern earlier, and that essentially made it so he didn't have a buyback in that last fight. And I don't know if that would have made a difference at all, but still, just not even having that option had to hurt and uh, being a little scary there. Yeah, the it could have been a it could have been a Rax. Like if you're not careful, I mean, you should always keep a buyback at this point of the game. I mean, there's no need to buy on. Recipe for 2k gold or almost 2k gold, uh, just have it laying around in the stash. So, yeah, a little bit of a sloppy mistake, not like him, a boy. See Fade running around right here with uh, Revenant, but there's a lot of Legion team nearby. In fact, the Bound Eye also on Bramble. A little surprised he wasn't getting a little too little more over the top. Like, Bramble's kind of playing it safe, but you know, with the Bound Eye, it's a lot of teams before nearby. Probably should be, I would think, kind of exploring, but. Not doing so, and that's giving uh, Hellborn team a kind of a chance to set up even. Yeah, Andromeda, oh my god, are they going to be able to get him? That's Clanks right there. Storm Spirit, no, nothing. They can't save him. There comes the Incendiary Strawberry, but it's not enough. I'm all coming out, but Clanks is dead. He can buy back, but he's so far away. They're basically just going to give up this fight. Restal Stone, by the way, used by Sandraith. And look at them just clean up. I, it's, it's hard to honestly even follow what happened in that fight, but... When it, when it does work out and come together, clearly it's it's scary. <laughs> They're going to get the yeah. career now. I mean, the Restoration Stone, or I mean, not, not the Restoration Stone, but uh, Staff of the Master actually worked in the sense of, like, preventing Magmas from jumping in with the Storm Spirit. But, uh, I mean, Mock of Brilliance would have secured or made the same thing, more or less. Yeah. But, uh, all right, Reason Gaming knocking on the front door here. Clanks, yeah. like you mentioned, like, he got the buyback, but... It's, it would just be him and Magmus, so he's he's not going to even waste it, apparently. Dude, uh, well, they, they need to, though, because Behemoth is just put up. Mora's coming up right here. You figure this is a chance. Magmus gets caught, by the way, and that's that's not good, because now with him dead, okay, Clank still will buy back, but 
You gotta wonder now if they're really gonna actually be able to hold this. It looks like they are. Electrician is trapped. I'm not sure why they're not going for him. Oh, he runs oh. away. <laughs> now the portal key. Well, the oh, they hold the racks escape. at least. That they do. Even with Magma's dead. So, uh, oh, that's a good one, I guess. Andrew almost got caught right there, but ports out as well, so good get away there. And yeah, Clanks, that's definitely extra unfortunate because, again, not much time was left on the resurrection, but it was at a point where he kind of had to. Finds Revenant here. No stealth detection, though. It's not going to be able to do much to him. But, jeez, after the last fight, though, it, all that momentum that Revolution was having is completely stopped, and I, I actually think Reason has their biggest lead of the game now. Yeah, they do. And as uh, Quincy pointed out there as well, I mean, he clunks us out of buybacks. So if, if the Hellborn team one more time, that's all they really need to close up this game. Yeah. If they kill the clanks, there's no damage from the leading team. Magnus went for a Storm Spirit. Behemoth, well, he only got a Shockwave and a damage. And Bramble as well with an Astro. No physical damage whatsoever. So all in on clanks. And can you bring him down? You win the game. Yep, that's now the two big fights that they have come out on top, and one has been that case, basically. Well, I guess the actually, well, the one, the first buyback, he actually came back and they <laughs> fought it back pretty well, but still, uh, he obviously can't buy back again, so this time you do kill him, he will stay dead, absolutely, is the point there. Um, just to clarify, too, I see some people even kind of questioning a little bit, and I'll delay catching up, but that's actually, here we go, Samwith puts an immediate kill on a behemoth, did not even, couldn't even blink right there, it feels like. Gets picked off. Moira also is, well, he's going to be heavily slowed in the background because the chase continues up here as Magmus is trying to escape the vital wall. Is blocking the Hellborn team somewhat, and Magmus is going to be able to stun through, actually. So the vital wall saving him right there. They're going to have to fight this without Moira or Behemoth, though. If yeah, that's going to be a no-no. They are just going to have to let uh, this Rex go. Just cut their losses and try to focus on the next lane instead. Planks yeah, running in. Fado oh, missed the stun right there. Pops the Shrunk and gets swapped in, but you know he's not in too bad of a spot. Has that Shrunken head up at least. Magnus rushing in the background. Andrew falls, but the Hellborn team fell back too. And retreated, but now oh. they're coming back in. The fake fallbacks for a look at Electrician. He's so tanky. They can't do anything to him. Holding his ground, dealing out plenty of damage himself as well. And they end up getting two on a Bramble and Magnus. Clanks. Has to just run back as much as he can. Behemoth ports into shockwaves randomly, it feels like. Really, no creeps nearby. Basically, panic mode right there. He goes down, down goes Clanks, and I think Reason Gaming That's has officially broken through. And yeah, GG, well played. Is being called. Reason Gaming, they are successful in the end, and they take the series two games to nothing. So, both, uh, both series today happen to be two nothing victories for Reason so far, at least. And thus off to a great start here in the group stages of Psycho 1. So feeling good. But what a really interesting game <laughs> is a good way to put it, I think. Yeah, Revolution definitely had our chances. They weren't too far away. If they would have committed to the Congo kill being a little bit too greedy or been a little bit more greedy, I feel like they would have had a better chance as well. Uh, now, unfortunately, they didn't get the token. And recent gaming just executed uh, their burst damage onto Clanks in every single team fight. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, but still, yeah, I think it was a good game. It was interesting to see the stuff of the Master and the Restoration Stone. It was a little bit questionable, and I'm sure there would have been other routes that could have been more uh, effective, but in the end it worked out, and Emo Boy trying something new out as well. Restoration Stone, interesting stuff. Yeah, that was, again, I think what they said, we've only seen it twice before. I only remember the one game we actually casted that we saw it. And it was a very, very, very specific reason that actually made a lot of sense. This game definitely was thrown off by it, very much so, from Imba Boy here, to be honest. But uh, it did work out in the end, and uh, that's the obviously the end result and what's important for them. So definitely congratulations to the Reason Gaming here. And that means we're going to be going into another short break right here, but uh, going to be setting up our next, our final tier of matches here for today. Um, now, as I said earlier, the other series ended up being a forfeit, and so I'm going to try to figure out what the deal is as far as